When I was a new JAWS user, one of the things I struggled with was getting used to the default voice that comes with JAWS as I felt it was a little too robotic sounding to my liking. It wasn't until a few months into my training that I realized that we have additional voice profiles to choose from. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and choose a new voice profile. A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words vision optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out vision optional. So the first thing we need to do is identify where JAWS is running. I have my JAWS set up in the default settings, so mine is running in the taskbar by default. You can tell it to run in the notification area or system tray and you like, and that's usually how I have mine set up. Now the experience is di different depending on where you have JAWS running. So if you have it in the default settings like I do, when you hit the key combination insert J, it will take you to a window. If you have it running in the notification area or system tray, it will open a context menu instead. Now, not, not a huge difference, but it's a difference nonetheless. So what we need to do is to navigate the JAWS menus in order to locate where we need to be in order to add some of these voices. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the key combination insert J and I'll do that now. JAWS home manual. So JAWS home manual. This is the JAWS window. And now because I'm in the JAWS window, I'm going to open the uh, JAWS options with the key combination Alt O. Alt O, menu, options menu, basics dot dot dot, to move through what? So I'm in options and the first menu item is basics. I'm going to go down to voices. Voices submenu, V. Voices submenu V. Now when you hear the letter on the back end, that's just letting you know that you can use these access keys in order to more efficiently navigate these menus. So for example, instead of hitting um, just Alt O and arrowing down, you can hit Alt O and then the letter V to go into the voices menu item. Now this is a sub menu. I'm going to hit my right arrow key. Voice adjustment dot 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 V. Voice adjustment. I'm going to go down select a voice profile dot 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 s now this is where you will be going after you install your voices to select which one you would prefer using but we're not going to go here right now we're going to go down again add slash remove voices dot 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 a add slash remove voices i'm going to hit enter to open this enter leaving menus add slash remove vocalizer expressive voices select a language combo box english Select the language. Mine is English, so I'm going to tab away from that. Premium voices, multi-select list box, not selected Allison. Premium voices list box. This is a list of all the voices that are available to you. Now there's two ways to preview them. You can simply tab over. Play sample button. To activate, press spacebar, P. And here you can hit enter to play a preview of the voice before installing, but I'll show you a more uh, efficient way of doing this now. So I'm going to shift tab back to the uh, voices list box. Premium voices, multi select list box, not selected Allison. So this is Allison. Now that I have Allison highlighted, I can preview her by hitting the key combination Alt P for preview. Alt My name is Allison and I am a United States English voice available for use with Freedom Scientific products such as JAWS. And each profile reads from the same script just so you can get a better idea for how they sound. Um, to select the voice, you're going to simply hit spacebar and we'll do that in a second, but you can also use letter navigation to move through the uh, list of voice profiles here as well. And I have two voices installed from this list. I have Tom, which is what I normally use in these videos and also Karen. So let's see Karen. I'm going to hit the letter K. K. Not selected Karen. English Australian. Already installed. 5 of 20. So don't worry about attempting to install the same voice. It will inform you as to whether or not you already have the voice installed. Now to preview Karen, again I'm going to hit Alt P. 
Alt My key. name is Karen and I am an Australian English voice available for use with Freedom Scientific products such as JAWS. All right, so that's how you preview voices and that's how you're notified as to uh, which voices you have installed. So I'm going to install a new voice that I don't already have um, on this profile. So I'm going to hit home. Home, not selected Allison, English United States, already installed, one of 20. Oh, so I already have Allison installed, so let me go down. Not selected Ava, English United States, two of 20. Ava United States, two of 20. So this is two out of a total 20 voice profiles for me to choose from. Now you can select as many voices as you want and install them all at once. Just know that, that it will take longer in order for, for all these profiles to be installed to your computer. So again, in order to select a profile, you're going to hit spacebar. Space, Ava, English, United States. Now, it won't tell you that it's selected. It just will not say not selected anymore. It will read the name and that'll be it. So I'm going to tab over to install. Play sample button. To activate, press spacebar. P. Oh, maybe you want to hear that voice. Shift tab back. Premium voices. Multi-select list box. Ava. All right. Alt My P. name is Ava and I am a United States English voice available for use with Freedom Scientific products such as JAWS. Now we're going to tab over to install. Play sample button. To activate, press spacebar. Install selected voices button. Install selected voices. I'm going to hit enter here. Enter. User. This is, this is the user control dialog. You may have to hit yes in order to install this voice. I'm going to hit alt Y instead of navigating to yes to activate the yes button. Alt Y. And then we're going to wait. Progress bar 4%. Now this may take longer depending on your setup, on your computer, and 12%. And how many voices you have selected for installation. 15%. 23%. The size of the profile also matters. 29%. And you can also set up a voice profile for each application you use. 35%. That's something that we can go on in a later video. 43%. 45%. And I appreciate your patience in this process. 53%. Feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> 61%. We're getting there. 76 percent, 83%, 96%, 100%, installing voices, installing APA, progress bar, 100%. Installing voices. Installation complete. Your voices have been successful. Sounds good to me. I'm going to hit enter. And now we can navigate back through those menus in order to uh, select the voice profile and change it. Now, I'm going to run JAWS in the notification area just so you can see the difference, the slight difference in interacting with these menus. So I'm going to hit Alt H for help. Alt H, menu, help. I'm going to hit Z for startup wizard. Z, leaving menus. I'm going to hit enter. Enter, speech setting. One more time. Enter, run JAWS settings if you select start JAWS at the log one screen. Now I'm going to tab over. Start JAWS after log one for all you. Again, start JAWS after log on. One more time. Run JAWS from system tray checked box not checked. So I'm going to check this box. Space checked. And I'm going to enter. Enter. Common. A few times to get out of the startup wizard. Enter. Verbosity setting. Enter. Braille. Enter. Braille. Enter. Jo All right. Now, in order for this to take the take effect, I'm going to have to deactivate JAWS and bring it back up. So I can do that with insert F4. Unloading JAWS. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. And now I'm going to bring up JAWS with the run dialog. So in order to enter the run dialog, I'm going to hit Windows R for run. 
and I'm not going to be hearing any speech because JAWS is not on right now. So this is important. This is a good troubleshooting method that you can use if your screen reader is not working. And we'll go on. We'll go over screen reading um, and troubleshooting in a later video as well. So I'm going to type JAWS 2021 with no spaces. I'm going to hit enter and my JAWS should come back up. JAWS. All right, good deal. So now I'm going to hit that insert J. Oh, we have a, a update. So Escape. Thing going on. So let me alt tab to that. Recording dot text Smith cam. JAWS updates available. JAWS okay. updates available. We're not going to update now, so I'm going to hit escape to get out of this dialog. Escape. Now, we're going to hit insert J, and we're going to move to the voices profile menu item. So insert J. JAWS context menu. Options. Remember what I said earlier that when we hit insert J when it was running from the taskbar, it opened the JAWS window. But now when I hit insert J and it's running in the notification area, it brings up a JAWS context menu. So I'm simply going to arrow down. Utilities submenu. That's that same utilities we saw earlier. So we know that options is right above that. So I'm going to hit my up arrow. Option submenu. It's a sub menu. I'm going to hit right. And again, I'm hitting the control key every time to stop the speech because we don't need all of that information. If any of you are wondering why the speech is getting cut off, that's why. So I'm going to hit my right arrow. Basics dot dot dot. I'm going to hit my down arrow. Voices sub menu. V. Voices sub menu. I'm going to hit right arrow to enter into the sub menu. Voice adjustment dot dot dot. V. Now I'm going to hit my down arrow one time for voice profiles. Select a voice profile dot 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 S. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Select a voice profile dialog. Default. Combo box. Tom vote. Default Tom. And Tom is all the way at the bottom of my list, so I know I will have to go up to change the profile. And I am looking for Ava. Karen Vocalizer Expressive Premium. Eight of nine. Ava Vocalizer Expressive Premium. Seven of nine. There's Ava. I'm going to hit enter and you should immediately hear a change in the voice. Let's go to the desktop. Windows D. Folder view list view. Camtasia 2020. All right. So that's Ava. And now when I navigate, it's going to be in her voice. Home. Recycle bin. Zoom cloud meetings. All right. So next, I'm going to show you a quicker way to do this so you won't have to navigate through the menus the entire time. Now, a more efficient way of going into the voice profile, since I prefer Tom, I'm going to change it back to end the video. I'm going to hit the key combination insert control S for speech. Select a voice profile dialog default colon combo box. Ava Volk. Now, remember, letter navigation works here, so I'm going to hit T for Tom T. Tom Vocalizer Expressive. Now I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Windows D. Folder view list view. There we go. Right back at home. That's Tom. That's the default voice that I use for all of these videos. I hope you all were able to benefit from this. If you were, then hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And definitely always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, positive, negative. Either way, it gives me more information. Let me know if I'm going in the right direction. And if you have any suggestions on a video you would like for me to um, upload in the future, a topic you would like me to cover, then don't hesitate to let us know again in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. A page appears. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Anchor FM, and Twitter at Vision Optional.